Hello everyone, Jeremy here. Today we're going to talk about how to rank in Google's top 10 within two weeks. I did this with two of my recent articles that I wrote. Now if you look here on the screen, how I found these two uh, key words for the two articles was these best X for Y articles. I took them and I did I dug deeper into those keywords. This keyword was best X, Y for something. And then I found two other keywords, which were best X, Y, Z for something. So it was a bit more specific. So it was this keyword and this article. They were uh, best X for Y articles. So the two main reasons why they ranked within two weeks are the top 10 search results had user generated content, which is a uh, forums or Quora or Reddit or Pinterest. You'll see those in the top 10 results. The other factor is non relevant content. Looking at the title of the other articles, you could see that it wasn't exactly relevant. So now I'll take you to the, uh, the search results that I found. Okay, so for example, the example keyword, best thin desks for teenagers. So my page ranked within two weeks and now I'm actually ranked number one. And then as you can see, the, the second result is a form. So that's user generated content. Uh, the third one is exactly relevant. Uh, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, those are all, they're not exactly relevant. And then the last one is another user generated website, Reddit. So that meets all the criteria. So, you know, from this, it's, it's pretty guaranteed you're going to rank in the top 10. And then if you do a good job, you'll be number one. So some things to take note of. So, okay, so the example keyword is best thin desk for teenagers. So this wasn't completely relevant. It was the same as it's saying best desk for teenagers. It, it's missing the word thin. So it has to be really specifically relevant. This one was exactly relevant, but the amount of relevance wasn't so high. This one talked about three desks. Yeah, I believe mine talked about nine desks. Not, not really, it's just an example, but I had at least nine products I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I talk about nine desks. They talk about some other info, like how you choose the desk and just things that are related, but they're not exactly relevant. So that, that's probably why I'm number one. Uh, this one's not exactly relevant. They added most comfortable desk. And if we want to know about thin desks, this one talked about best wide desk, which we want to know about the thin desks. Right, it's not exactly relevant. So in your search, if you can find keywords, you know, which show this in the top 10, then you should definitely write that article and you'll be pretty guaranteed a top 10 result. Uh, other things, uh, my website has some authority. It's a DA 19 and a PA of 14. This one, which is exactly relevant, has a DA, DA of 16 and a PA of 19. So then you can see I added a thousand words to the article. Generally, I like to try and make all my articles longer than everyone else's article by at least 500 to 1,000 words. All right, so ooh, anything else here? Okay, uh, it doesn't matter how long the article is if the article is not exactly relevant. 
but yeah, I like to still make my article longer by 500 to 1,000 words. Okay, the next, the next article, I'm ranking number one for this one too. Not relevant. This one's an exact match. Here's a forum. This is an Amazon, and it wasn't the Amazon result was not relevant, and another Amazon result wasn't relevant. And not relevant, not relevant. This one was less relevant. I forgot exactly what what it was, but uh, it was even less relevant than not being relevant. <laughs> Put it that way. So some things to note. I looked into this exact match website. Their article was 3,313. Mine was, you know, a thousand words longer. My website has 84 posts. Their website has 184 posts. So you might think, oh, maybe they have more authority because they have, you know, a lot more articles on their website than I do. But then what you can do is uh, you can type in site colon and then their website and you, know, you can see how many posts there are. And then what I did was I added the word of my niche and it came up with 94 posts. So it's not, it's only 10 more articles than my website. So yeah, mine's a DA of 19, theirs is a DA of 11. So that could be why I'm ranking number one. So all these little things you can keep in mind when you're looking at the top 10 results. Uh, okay, let's try some live examples. First one, best lightweight vacuum cleaner under 100. And when you're doing keyword research, try and look for specific keywords. Best cheap vacuum cleaners. Let me also add this. This is the Moz bar. All right, so best cheap vacuum cleaners. All right, that's nice. That we're looking for best lightweight vacuum cleaner under $100. <clears throat> so they don't talk about lightweight. Best five vacuum cleaners under 100. It's not lightweight. Best affordable vacuums under $100. Eleven best vacuums under a hundred. They don't have lightweight, so they have lightweight here in the description. So that means in their content, part of their content talks about lightweight vacuum cleaners. So if you wrote an entire article that was, you know, hundred percent talking about lightweight vacuum cleaners under a hundred dollars, you have a, you can probably beat them. Best cheap vacuum cleaners. We're not looking for cheap. We're looking for lightweight. Amazon household. It's not so relevant. Six best vacuums under $100. Not as relevant. 18 best vacuums. I mean, yeah, they have lightweight, lightweight. So what you could do is go to that website and see how many words are talking about lightweight vacuum cleaners. And then you can write your, just double the, the uh, amount of words on your article. Five best vacuum cleaners. Best vacuum cleaner, get the job done. So there's a lot of articles that are not so relevant. 
So you just have to make sure your article is exactly relevant and I'd say 500 to 1,000 words longer. How wide is a travel trailer? All right, so we want to look for how wide is a travel trailer with slide out open? Around eight to nine feet. So we have this snippet. Slide outs are pretty magical because when they're all pulled in, your RV stays the standard width of around eight to nine feet. When they're extended, you get an extra two to three feet of living space. So yeah, that's kind of relevant. How wide are RV slide outs? That's relevant. Here's a forum, which is good. Here's another forum. Camper report. Yeah, you, you probably may recognize that website from income school. <laughs> the camper advisor, average width of a travel trailer. would slide out open. That's not exactly relevant there, income school. Average width of a trail, that's the key word that they're mostly targeting. Helpful guide, 12 facts about RV slide outs. But they're not talking about, I keep forgetting that, of oh, the width. Helpful guy, 12 facts about RV slide outs. Okay, they don't mention the width. Here's the width a little bit. Slide out dimensions, that's not really relevant. Plus that's a forum. An RV slide out room. That's not as relevant. Average width, double. Travel trailer, size of slide outs. So some are relevant, some are not so relevant. So if you make an article that's, you know, that's relevant and you do a good job and you make it, you know, long, more content, more comprehensive, I would write this article. It can probably get into the top 10. There's room here because you have these two forums. I think there was another forum below that. So next, how to make a vacuum cleaner quieter. How to make a vacuum cleaner quieter. You can use them to reduce the noise coming from your vacuum cleaner. So this snippet is, uh, that's relevant. Usually when I'm searching the top 10, the first thing you want to do is see if there's any forums. So no, no, that's like, a quick way to just go through them fast is just scroll right through it and check if there's any form. So this is well, Quora or user-generated content. Hunker. So you got one user-generated content, which is a good sign. Snippet is relevant, which is not a good sign. House me proud. Also, th this DA is kind of low. This DA is low. That's another thing to look for. Look for low domain authority websites. You know, if, if everything is relevant, then look for the lower, you know, and, and your website has some authority and you want to go for some more competitive keywords, then try and go for, look for low domain authority websites. So that's low. That's, that's a DA5. So. If your website is higher than that, this is a DA9. So if you've got two websites that have a domain authority of less than 10, that's very good. Quora, 
16, shop vac noise, shop vac noise reduction, relevant. So yeah, a lot of these are relevant. You got the Cora, which is an open space. These two are good signs because the authority is low. So if you're citing some authority, I would write this article. Then what you would want to do next is check how long the content is, make your content, you know, 500 to 1,000 words longer. It's usually what I find works. Now there is a keyword tool which you can use, which will find results which have user-generated content for you. And that keyword tool is Keyword Chef, which I've used. I found recently a couple, you know, a couple dozen results where, you know, they show like a three forums and like the whole combination of forums, Quora, Reddit, Pinterest. They give you results from, you know, one to, I've had up to at least eight results. And all those results I'm going to write articles for. I'm going to start off writing articles for the ones which show like eight of these results in the top 10. So that, that's a, a quick way to, uh, to find these results instead of, you know, looking for them yourself. Uh, you know, if, if you like, use my affiliate link. It'll be in the description below. And, uh, this is a fast way to get, you know, low competition keywords and to rank quickly in the top 10. So thanks for watching guys. I, I hope this was helpful and, and definitely, you know, use this strategy because it definitely works. So thanks and I'll see you next time.